Dick Sporting Goods announces and to assault rifle sales. Again? Okay, interesting. Dick Sporting Goods made a February the 28th announcement informing the public that the retail chain will end assault style rifles. Again. The retail chain made a similar announcement days after the gunman carried a stolen AR-15 and handgun into a gun-free zone and killed 26 innocents. On December the 18th, 2012, Breitbart News reported that Dick's Sporting Goods was suspending sales of modern sporting rifles and a moniker and a capacitor at the AR-15S, the AK-47S, and similar firearms. CNN reported that Dix expunged the modern sporting rifles from its website on the same day. Dick is now in the wash, rinse, repeat mode. The w- uh, so in other words, they're probably going to go back to selling them in a week. In the wake of February the 14th, Florida school shooting, they are again announcing an end to assault-style rifle sales. We believe it's time to do something about it. Beginning today, Dick's Sporting Goods is committed to the following. We will no longer sell assault-style rifles, also referred to as modern sporting rifles. We had already removed them from all Dick's Moors after Sunday... Sorry, say again. We will no longer sell assault-style rifles and re- also referred to as modern sporting rifles. We have already removed them from Dick's stores after the Sandy Hook Massacre, but will now remove them from sale at all 35 field and stream stores. We will no longer sell firearms to anyone under the age of 21. We will no longer sell high capacity magazines. We will never and have never and will sell bump stocks that allow semi-automatic weapons to fire more rapidly. Okay, so the whole, again, thing is basically them. They had 35 other stores that were also selling the assault rifles, so they're removing them from that as well. Okay. Um, The 21 years of age? Yeah, yeah, I think that's legal, actually. I think you're just following the law on that one. High-capacity magazine and bump stocks. Yeah, that's fine. Dick's most current plan to quit selling assault-style rifles comes after admitting the Florida school gunman legally purchased a shotgun from one of their retail stores. The school gunman did not use the shotgun in his attack, and also the AR-15, I don't believe he also brought for them as well, just to clarify. Dick tweeted, the shotgun was not the gun nor the type of gun the gunman used in the shooting, but it could have been. So... You're banning assault rifles after they, he brought a shotgun from you. Okay, interesting. Okay, so what's my takeaway from all this? To be honest, kind of sounds a lot like virtual signaling. Um, look, obviously, at the end of the day, uh, the again, again part, like I've said, it's them just simply expanding these banning of the assault rifles to the other 35 stores. Will this change anything? No. Simply put, guys, they want to buy a assault rifle that's going to buy it from someone else. You're just simply selling a assault rifle to a competitor. Uh, worst situation about this is that your competitor might necessarily follow the law like you guys do. At least if you sell the rifle, then you could probably go through and, and make the case that you are actually making sure that someone legally law-abiding is actually buying the rifle from you. I suppose you could always then argue that they're going to just go and buy it somewhere else if they get knocked back. But, yeah, look, I suppose, I don't know. Look, yeah. Uh, to me, this is just virtual signaling. This is them basically realising, shooting a brick, that the, the school shooter actually brought a shotgun from these guys. He could have legally used that shotgun in the school shooting. They're basically virtually signaling, like, to the max, Basically hoping that no one will sit there and say, well, hey, you actually sold the gun to the school shooter as well. He might have used it, but you did sell a gun to him. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they did all their background checks and everything when they sold that. But apart from that, guys, like I say, yeah, it's virtually signaling. It's not going to stop anything. People are just going to buy guns from somewhere else. It's congratulations. You've, A, just lost the money out of your store. 
Um, B, someone else is going to sell the make, uh, sell the gun and make the money. So it's it's irrelevant and it's stupid. But I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this is just virtual signaling? Do you think they actually believe this? Do you think they'll actually follow through with it? Or do you think they'll go back to selling guns? Obviously, at the, the end of the day, pistols actually kill more people than assault rifles. So I presume they're still going to keep selling those. If they do, kind of sounds a little silly to me. But yeah, regardless. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.